Hi friends, in this video we will look into the convolution sum. So before the convolution sum is the main tool to get the output of an LTA system. So time domain LTA system. So how to get this output? This output should be the convolution sum of input and the impulse response of the system. So before going to convolution sum, we should definitely know the impulse response. So let us see what is meant by an impulse response and how it will be in a very short manner because we have already completed the video on impulse response. So let me simply review the same. Yes, impulse response. So let the signal x of n be multiplied with the impulse response delta n impulse sequence delta n that is like this x of n delta n is equal to x of 0 delta n so we can easily say this part because delta n is the delta n is the impulse sequence at n equal to 0 so if we multiply this part with x of n which is having so many values at different places of n whenever we multiply these things and every value at every value of x of n delta n that means other than n equal to 0 will be 0 because delta n other than n equal to 0 are 0 so definitely this will be 0 and it will retain with only one value that is at n equal to 0 so i i can we can directly write x of 0 delta n simply so all other values from minus infinity to plus infinity are zeros because delta n at other than n equal to 0 are 0. So if we multiply with the x of n, it will be 0. So now we want to generalize this relation because uh, this is, I mean this is at n equal to 0. So we want to retain f our x of n at various parts of n. So how can we do that? we can do that by maybe by multiplying with impulse response at that concerned place for example i want to retain the value of x of n at n equal to 1 for example how can i do that at x equal to 1 means it will be x of n minus 1 yeah yet x equal to 1 means sorry at n equal to 1 means here it is k so it should be like this x of n delta n minus k is equal to x of k delta n minus k so i need to shift my impulse response towards 1 so because i want x of 1 value similarly in this in this fashion i can have all values of my x of n at different places of n so this can be expanded like this this is uh, running from minus infinity plus x of minus 2 delta n plus 2 plus x of minus 1 delta n plus 1 plus x of 0 delta n plus x of 1 delta n minus 1 plus x of 2 delta n minus 2 and so on. So in this way I need to generate the impulse sequence at each and every value of n I mean so that I can retain my x of n. So this can be written in a short form as x of n is equal to sigma k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k delta n minus k and we are going to use this part in our convolution sum. So let us go ahead with convolution sum. So before going to that we will see the one example on the impulse response. So how it will be if this is the this is the sequence x of n given to us and it has only three values all other values are given so yes according to this formula i want to apply the impulse sequences at various parts so we have only three values here at n equal to minus 1 0 and 1 so i need to generate the impulse sequence at those parts only yeah this is the value at, n, at k equal to or we can say at n equal to minus 1. So definitely I need to generate the impulse response at n equal to minus 1. So I have generated it by multiplying these two. I will get 
the same value. Similarly, at n equal to 0, same thing, delta n. Similarly, at n equal to 1, it should be delta n minus 1. Yeah, if I sum all the things, then I will get x of n. So, this is the simple concept of uh, one of the examples of impulse response. So, let me go ahead with convolution sum. So, how this will be? Yeah, first I want to uh, apply h operator. So, h operator knows the system to which the input x of n is applied. So, how can I go ahead with the operation of h? That means it should be output y of n is equal to h operated x of n. Let, that will be like this. y of n is equal to capital H of x of n. So, now I like to substitute x of n. So, x of n is like this before from the previous knowledge. This is my based on the impulse response. I have written x of n as sigma k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k delta n minus k. So, this is the concept. So, now what can I do? Now I want to shift my, so based on the linearity property, here I have two operators, one is sigma operator, second one is h operator. Now I want to interchange these two because these systems are LTA systems, linear time invariant systems. So linearity property means that only, so if we can interchange the operators also, our result will not be changed. So let me interchange the operators. So, y of n is equal to x of n, y of n is equal to sigma, k equal to 0 to minus infinity to infinity, capital H of x of k delta n minus k. So, I am simply interchanging the h operator and sigma operator and this is my result. Now, yeah, obviously we know that where n is the time index and quality x of k is a constant with respect to time operator, I mean system operator capital H. So, capital H is based on uh, N but not K. So, as per H is concerned, X of K is a constant. So, what shall we do? We need to keep that constant away from the operator. So, we have done the same thing. Yes. Yeah, now we have done the same thing. Of course, here also we are using the linearity principle and simply interchange x of k and h. So, now what will happen? Now, I can introduce capital H of delta n minus k as one single term. Now, by using time invariant, the time shift in impulse results the time shift in output. So, that is one of the big... Uh, I mean, one of the other properties, time invariant property, that means if there is any change in the input signal, definitely there should be the change in the output signal. So, here I can see that delta n minus k is my input signal for the operator h. So, I can definitely give the equivalent output signal that, that may be h of small h of n minus k. Okay, that will be shown here. So, here capital H of delta n minus k is equal to small h of n minus k. Okay, I have, I mean, I have assumed that the output of H operated delta will be small h. Okay, that is my assumption. And based on the time invariant property, I need to show the shifting. So, here n minus k is there as an input. So, I should be represent same thing in output. I need to retain the same because it is a time invariant system. So, this is the concept. So, in this way, I can replace my capital H of delta n minus k into H of n minus k. So, now I need to substitute the same thing here so that y of n is equal to sigma k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k H of n minus k. So, the above equation is called convolution sum and is denoted by star. Okay, and it is denoted by star, and that will be shown here x of n star h of n. So, y of n is equal to x of n star h of n, and that will be equal to sigma k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k. So, this is the concept of convolution sum. So, here convolution sum means simple. It is the summation of multiplication of 
the input and the impulse response of the system impulse response of the system in a time shifted manner okay and that is the output of lti system if we know the impulse response of the system and the input of the system then we can get the output of the system and that is the convolution sum yeah thank you so much for your careful listening and please like this video share this video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel and kindly press the bell button so in the forthcoming lectures we will see the procedure for doing convolution sum and we have done some problems also okay thank you thank you so much